Today on Tiki Fire Toy Reviews, Marvel Legends Ant-Man from the Giant Man series. Hello, Tiki Fire here with another Tiki Fire Toy Review. And today I'm reviewing the last figure in the Giant Man series that I'm going to be reviewing. And besides Giant Man himself, and that is Ant-Man. And this is the Scott Lang version of Ant-Man from the comics. And there comes with a 32 page comic book a reprint of marvel premiere issue 47 where scott lang takes over the role of ant-man from hank pym and that's kind of cool a little bit different than the current movie that's out of ant-man so kind of different and basically he takes on the original costume as you can see in the package here so that's pretty cool and down at the bottom it says this package includes the right arm of Giant Man. And that's all I lack because I've got this right hand that I got from the Thor package. And I've been waiting to put that on this bad boy. So we can have my 13 and a half inch Giant Man. Whoa. Alright, so super poseable, 34 points of articulation. Bonus 32 page comic. Only, still only 35 cents. I remember those days. Comics for 35 cents. Those were some cool times. Granted, 35 cents went a lot further back then than it does now. Alright, so let's take a little zoom in. And take a look at this. Power Grid and a little story on there. Alright, Power Grid. Intelligence, 4. Strength, 2. Speed, 2. Durability, 2. Energy Projection, 3. Fighting Skills, 2. Height, 6 foot, six foot 1.83 meters. Weight, 190 pounds. 86.2 kilograms. Eyes blue, hair reddish blonde. Right, when evil looms large, electronics technician Scott Lang gets small. A reformed criminal, the minute Marvel, has answered the call to action alongside the fabled Fantastic Four and the Mighty Avengers. What matters most is not the size of the man at the fight, but the size of the fight in the man. And the bad guys take big lumps from the astonishing Ant-Man. Very cool. And yes, his first appearance was in this Marvel premiere issue 47. So, pretty cool. And he's a cool character. I did like the movie a lot. Might do a review of it at some point soon, but I did really like the, really like the movie. And it took a lot of liberty, sure, because it's part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And, but it did still follow the same basic premise. Spoilers, that you have a thief who's a electronics technician also, and he ends up stealing the costume and becoming a hero with it. So, kind of cool. So, we're going to open him up and take a look. All right, so there is Scott Lang as Ant-Man, made by Toy Biz back in 2006. He's a really cool-looking figure. He looks just like the one in the comic. And speaking of the comic, he did come, he did come with this package in the comic this reprint uh, from 1979 of the astonishing ant-man very cool and he does look just like on that cover there so that's really neat and i've read that issue it's a really good issue okay in the package she did come with this arm the right arm of giant man all right and i've got giant man together yay he's together and we'll do a review on him later but right now let's focus back in on Ant-Man, Scott Lang, the Toy Biz version from 2006. I gotta say, he looks pretty great. He's got a removable helmet. His head sculpt is really cool. And, whoops. <laughs> and he looks good from the back as well. Got the cool ant sculpting there, I guess. I don't know. It's that symbol like in the comic. It's very cool. Alright, so as far as articulation goes... What's he got? Well, let's start with his hand. He's got a movable. His hand is like out like that. And that does go in that far. You can also bend him wrist in or out. Okay. He's got a double jointed elbow, swivel at the bicep. He's got the rotating ball joint at the shoulders. He's got a rotation point at the waist. 
you just got the ab crunch that's typical of these toy biz figures great head sculpt i like the wavy hair and everything his head will rotate all the way around if you want he does have a permanent fist on the other hand so well, sort of i mean his his fingers are like this but you can even have him like that or have him make a fist and his elbow and arm rotation is the same over there he does have the typical toy biz rotation at the thigh as well as the ball joints at the waist that are a little stiff on these old figures he's got the double jointed knee he's got the rotation at the boot cuff rotation at the ankle he doesn't appear to have much give from side to side well, maybe a little yeah this foot does a lot more this one just needs some loosening up there it goes and then he's got some cool looking boots and the bend up too so you can take this helmet and this is kind of neat that he's got a removable helmet with the antenna and all that on it and it does look just like the one in the comic and i think it's probably going to be hard to get on <laughs> yeah okay so i had to play with him a little bit and wedge it down over his face but there's ant-man with the helmet on looks pretty cool it looks just like the one in the comic so that's pretty nifty i think so thanks for watching this video and this review Hope you enjoyed the video. Would I recommend getting this guy? Definitely. He is pricey. I'm thinking maybe the price will go back down a little bit after this Ant-Man movie Fuhrer dies down a little bit. Is he a cool addition to any Marvel Legends? Even the newer Hasbro? Sure, and I'd love it if Hasbro would make a version of Ant-Man like this. I don't know if they ever will. They just made one of the movie version of Ant-Man, of Scott Lang Ant-Man. And that was really cool. I did, did a review of that a while back, but that one had a helmet like molded onto his head so you couldn't remove it and i don't know if hasbro would go so far as to make a separate helmet like this hopefully they would i mean it'd be cool but who knows maybe they will all right so would i recommend getting him sure if you want to spend the money definitely need this guy especially if you're going for some classic look avengers kind of thing so thanks for watching and please keep tuned to my channel for the giant man review that'll be coming up soon Thanks a lot.